Well, social distancing requirements don't mean that your business can't host a fun holiday party this year. The Better Business Bureau has some tips for having one virtually. With Whitney Quick, the regional director of the Better Business Bureau. And Whitney, it is party season, office party season. Most companies, or a lot of companies, have Christmas parties. This year, you might not want to attend in person. Um, we are seeing a lot of companies canceling their normal Christmas parties and trying to come up with new ways to support their staff um, because they can't do what they've done before, which is getting together face to face and doing things like that. So what we're seeing is a virtual office party. Um, these are really easy to do. Make There are a couple things to make sure to do um, to keep it easy, such as make it easy to attend. So if you're already using Zoom or a platform um, for regular office meetings, go ahead and continue with that platform. Um, if for whatever reason your guests um, have not had a chance to use Zoom, which I think most of us have since March, but um, if not, or any other platform that you use, make sure that you send out um, video tutorials on how to use these platforms. Um, they are everywhere and it's really convenient and you can explain very easily um, how to use these and how people can jump on. Another thing is choose a convenient time. If this is just for your office staff, try having it during office hours. So like a Friday afternoon, right before everyone goes on break. Um, that would be a really great thing to do if you are including uh, more than just the office staff, so their family as well. This could be something that you could have after hours. Um, also invite the right number of people. It gets really hard to hear if there's more than 10 people on a Zoom call. Um, I'm sure most of us have experienced that by now, um, but make sure that if you do end up having more than 10 people, that you include breakout rooms for those people to go in so that they can have conversations. Um, and while you're having conversations, you really wanna make sure that you're keeping the conversation flowing. So um, maybe go over some questions like, what's something surprising you've learned in the past month? What's an interesting way that you've used your time at home? Uh, what's your favorite thing about your job and why? Also, you can get really creative with activities. There are tons of online resources for online party games. And um, I actually had my birthday party on Zoom this year, which I'm sure a lot of other people did as well. And we had a lot of fun with online games that were available. And I'm sure since then, um, there's way more out there. And you guys have plenty of tips on this on your website. Uh, if you look for this story, what is your website again? At bbb.org. Whitney, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.